Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Thomas here, and today we're teaching you guys the best controller settings for the Beta 2.0. I am thinking about making a video with every single pro player's controller settings, so you guys could refer to that instead of asking them or trying to find out what exact settings they play on. Let's get right into it. First, I want to show you guys my settings. I'm currently playing on 30s. 10 1 1 dead zones, and the reason behind this is the inner dead zones basically your analog sticks, how sensitive they are. So, I want them as sensitive as possible. I don't want it on zero because, like, zero is way too sensitive. Like, if you have it on zero, like, your character is gonna move automatically. Like, look, I'll show you guys. So, I'll put it on zero. My character is look, starting to look down now without me touching my analog stick. That's how sensitive it is. Now I put it on one, it doesn't move as much. And it's like instant. My character moves as fast as I move my analog. So if I barely move my analog, my character is going to move. And that's the kind of feeling I want on my analog stick because I want to wall bounce as free as I want. I want to be able to have full control of my character. Now, the, the sensitive, sensitivity issue, which I've been having issues lately with, is the low sensitivity is basically how fast your character turns. So if you have it on, if you have it on 15, your character turns a lot slower. I personally play on 30s because I like moving fast. That's my play style. But if you don't like moving fast, I'll recommend 20s or 25s. If you're like. You're the type of player that likes playing slow and passive. I recommend you guys use like crush most sensitivities, detox, um, praise. Praise plays on 20, 30, 30. So his look sensitivity is on 20. If you guys want to be that passive player that doesn't have all that movement or doesn't do all that extra movement or almost like a maniac, then you can definitely put it on 20. So 20 isn't a big issue. Another thing is mental, for example. He plays on all 30s, explosive, summons. But they all like playing fast. Like all those players play fast. The person doesn't play fast on that list is mental, and mental likes walking at people. Mental's play style is literally playing for chunks. He'll wall bounce probably once or twice, and then walk at you and try to chunk you with one shot. That's his play style, and to be honest, mental has mastered it by now. Another thing I want to show you guys is the target sensitivity is basically how fast your character turns while aiming in so as you guys can see I move super slow when I aimed in if I put it up to 30 it'll be a lot quicker Good to go. zoom sensitivity same thing how fast your character moves or turns when he's zoomed in with the RT pressed in, not the RT, but the right stick pressed in. As you can see, I, I'm fully zoomed in. Now if I lower that down to like, let's say 10, and I'm zoomed in. Oh shit, that was not supposed to happen, but it's alright, I spawned in two seconds. When you're fully zoomed in, as you can see, it's a lot slower. Got it! <laughs> I love you, bitch. But, um, that's basically it to me. If you want to be able to move freely, you need to have the 1 1 death zones. The lower your death zones, the faster your character reacts to movement. I'm gonna show you guys the setting real quick. This is what Rushy's plays on. I personally like it on 1-1, one, one, so you guys can choose what you guys want. If you guys want to play on 1-1, one, one, go ahead. I will say this, you guys have to mess around with the dead zones a little bit, so you can find the best dead zone for yourself. 
I would recommend 1-1. One, one. And yeah, your character is going to move sometimes by itself on 1-1 one, one dead zones, but I think the instant reaction time with your character movement, or your character moving with your analog stick is a lot better. Um, another thing I want to explain is the Omni roll. So if you have your Omni off, you could only roll like in straight lines. You can't roll vertically. Like you can't roll to the edge. So for example, I want to hit this wall behind me. Oh my God, this guy with a torque bow, dude. All right, so if you're trying to wall bounce backwards, it won't let you. Like it won't let you hit this wall. Like it won't let you. Now if I put it on Omni on. It lets me do it now. And I'm aiming it to the bottom right corner of my screen. It'll be easier to angle bounce. Remember, if you have Omni on, you can roll diagonally, which I like doing because like a lot of times I get instants thrown at me or power weapon thrown at me, and I want to be able to roll freely away from the boom shot. For example, if my guy has a boom shot right here. I don't want to roll straight backwards. I want to roll to the bottom left side of my screen. These are my controller settings right now. At the end of the video, I'm gonna include some pro players controller settings so you guys could like, you know, use it as a reference. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, vibration on and off is just a personal preference. You guys don't have to worry about that. Neither is Omni. Omni is like a personal preference too. So if you want to like change it around, you could. Some some people have, like can't play Claw, from what I've realized, and they play on tournament. So tournament just basically lets you bounce with LB. So you guys don't have to worry about. Like right now I'm playing with RB, so I don't have to play claw. Right now I'm playing thumbs. You can still wall bounce pretty fast with pressing the LB button. Reaction shot, fine. That's it for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know. Um, leave a comment. Again, like I said, I will have pro players controller settings in the end of the video, so you guys could like use it as a reference. Take care, guys. Talk about gore on or off. Bro, I usually play with mine on or off. Like, I don't even have a preference on that, bro, to be honest. Like, look, if I was to show you, okay, let me show you Gore. Like, Gore off, it just means, like, it's far from his body. People think that having Gore off is bad, but honestly, I play with it off for a little bit. Like, I've been switching on and off. I play with Gore off, and I'm not getting a lot of frame lag. Sometimes I get this random frame lag that I hate. And the way to stopping it is you turn gore off. There's a lot of blood on your screen, a lot of a lot of things going on at once. Usually your Gears of War game will lag or have frame drop. Your frames will drop in the game because like there's so much frames going on in your screen, there's a lot of blood, there's a lot of mad extra shit on your screen. So it makes like the game laggy. That's my reasoning behind turning it off or on. When I stop having frame lag, I usually turn it right back on. I like seeing like people getting bodied and you getting head pops with snipers shit like that. But yeah, go having gore off is basically you basically get no frame lag. Like you never have to worry about frame lag. When you have it on, you're kind of bound to have frame lag sometimes. Alright, but take care, guys.